Hello everybody and welcome to Jeff the Pharmacist. It is an honor to have you here watching. Uh, and today I want to talk about should I get into pharmacy. So sometimes I get asked this question and usually my reaction is, oh, I don't know. I don't know if you should really do that. Um, just because right now there is a kind of a large amount of pharmacists looking for jobs. Um, and the reason for that is that we had a bit of a shortage um, kind of when I was going into school. Uh, so I graduated in 2012. So in, in around 2008, I heard all these stories about, um, you know, you. I heard about a pharmacist who got a $20,000 signing bonus with Rite Aid and they're pay, paying all this money and um, people showing up to interviews in flip-flops and all this nonsense. Um, and that's kind of the environment where I went into school. Um, I think that um, is probably why one of the reasons why I was looking at pharmacy is because uh, it looked like there were a lot of people um, getting really good pharmacy jobs and there was a lot of demand for pharmacists so that was sort of on appeal uh, appealing to me. The situation is kind of reversed a bit because pharmacy schools got way too responded way too much to the pharmacy shortage so when I was in pharmacy school and I heard about uh, I went to the University of Maryland when I heard about they were building this new wing they want they're gonna add all these pharmacists in a satellite campus or they're gonna add all these pharmacy students in a satellite campus I was like why not just let there be a shortage so we can make more money when we get out of school but that was you know of course they're like we need to do all these things and of course they're thinking about you know I don't know about Maryland but schools in general are probably thinking about well if I can have 30 40 percent more students we can increase revenue increase our stature and our importance in the state and blah 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 so uh, all that has kind of led to and there's been more schools opening up so it's not just reputable schools adding more it's other schools opening up brand you know brand new um, facilities and things and all this has kind of led to where uh, pharmacists are getting job offers that are less than the ones that I got you know in 2012 and so that's uh, that's all very scary so that's why kind of one of the reasons I don't really steer people in the direction of pharmacy now that could all change because I know every you know everybody that's applying to pharmacy school is smart they're thinking about you know what is what is going to be my kind of um, situation when I get out and uh, am I going to have a good job and if if they're looking at it now and saying you know people aren't getting paid as much and people are getting more money doing you know becoming lawyers or um, physicians then uh, I think the tides will turn a little bit and that could actually lead to uh, another shortage who knows people might not want to get into it and we might have another shortage so but right now I, I kind of say uh, I don't think it's the best time to go into pharmacy school. Um, other things to consider uh, if you should go into pharmacy is will you like the job? So uh, what I, I discussed in one, another one of my videos about uh, what do I like about retail pharmacy because that's what I do. I do retail or community pharmacy and what I enjoy is kind of the uh, interaction with uh, the patients and developing rapport and kind of feeling like um, I sometimes I go to work and I sort of feel like I just have a lot of they're like a lot of friends you know they're not friends but just people that I kind of relate to and they're my customers and um, it gives you a lot of perspective and you kind of go through their troubles with them and it gives me a lot of perspective on like life in general a lot of people um, die early or just all these weird things happen it's there's more to it than just counting by fives and putting a label on a bottle. Uh, you do that a lot though, so you should have good dexterity in your hands so you can count and put labels on bottles. Uh, but that is obviously uh, the the easiest part of the job. The, the, probably the hardest is dealing with customers and then um, also dealing with um, the business pressure and trying to make money and stuff, whether that be from a, from a, if you're in a large organization from above, you know, they want you to produce more money for them so they can, um, you know, run their business. Or if you're in a smaller operation, you know, make more money so you can keep going. Um, other things I would 
uh, consider if you're looking to go into pharmacy school uh, do you like the subject matter uh, do you like drugs are you interested in in medicine um, that's definitely important that's why I got into it I find drugs extremely fascinating and um, I, I really like them a lot that's why I have the channel to kind of augment um, kind of augment what I do um, at work because sometimes at work I just feel like I'm producing a lot and answering questions but I don't feel like I'm getting into the nitty-gritty of drugs all the time so I think top considerations should be are you uh, you know is the market a good market to get into it's not that great right now um, uh, will you like being a pharmacist uh, will you like um, being a retail pharmacist now there are other pharmacy jobs um, hospital jobs like so if you work in an independent or if you work in a um, hospital pharmacy uh, you're reviewing kind of doctor's orders for clarity and answering questions from nurses and physicians so in a lot of ways um, pharmacists that work in hospitals their customers are the people that are basically can cause them trouble or hassle them or uh, make things stressful for them or like doctors and nurses. They want to get the drugs to the floor and that can be a lot of pressure um, And then there's the clinical pharmacists. Uh, they go on rounds uh, They help doctors with uh, See, I, I don't have as much experience in that, but the experience that I do have is that they help um, answer questions from clinicians and as well as um, they also even do kind of some prescribing and some um, order adjustment and things and that w that requires like a residency so just to sum it up don't get into pharmacy um, just kidding if you really want to do it do it um, you know it, if that's your path uh, it might be uh, it might be great so I hope you all uh, found this interesting if you did please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe it would be great to have you thanks a lot thanks a lot thanks a lot